Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I will show you how to create a Flask configuration file to keep all your Flask related configuration separate and in a place where everybody within your team can find them. This will keep everything much more organized. So without any further ado, let me show you exactly what I mean. So any Flask application has configurations. And what I mean by that is if we access here config, we have a lot of application configurations. So the way you would sometimes set them is by setting them here. So I could set the application into a debug mode by saying Flask debug and setting this to true. I could do a similar thing with, uh, I don't know, let's say secret key. This is the secret key of your application. And I'm going to say some secret key. And finally, let's say the environment of your application. Um, let's say it's in production now. So you see what I mean here. Um, if we were to con continue keep adding here, this would become quite messy quite quickly. So the way we want to organize this is by creating a separate file. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say Python file. And the convention is by naming it to config. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab everything we had here. We're going to cut it and we're going to paste it here. However, we don't need to access the application here because we don't have that. Okay. And we're going to set that. We're going to do the same thing for this one. Okay. And the same for the final one. Okay, so this is exactly like it was before. However, it's currently not loaded in our application, but we can fix that quite quickly and simply by saying app.config.from object. And because our object is the configuration file and it's in the same directory, I'm going to say config. So, if we want to test that to see that it actually works, we can say, let's have a look. What was the name? Okay, so Flask debug. So we're going to say uh, debug is, and then let's grab the value from app.config.get. And we're going to grab this exact thing here. I'm going to use single quotes here. All right, we're going to duplicate this a couple of times. We're going to say secret key is and then our environment. So I'm going to say environment is environment app.py. And here we have it. Debug is true. Secret key is some secret key, environment is production. And that's how you use a configuration file with Flask to keep things organized. But we can take it one step further. So um, from within here, okay, we can load our env file. So we can say load.env and we're going to import that. So we've used this in our previous video. So essentially what this does, it, it reads from a .env file and loads all the um, data that it finds to our operating system configuration. So I'm going to say here os.environ.get and I'm going to keep this the same. And I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste it. I'm going to use the same name. And finally, I'm going to do this with the last one. So we're going to say env. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our environment variable. Let's just copy this 
here we don't need all the space and here we're going to send flask debug we're going to say true we're going to say the secret key is some very secret key around and our environment will be um, i want to say development okay so if we go to our terminal and rerun this it's true some very secret key and development so essentially the way the flow of uh, these environment variables is we're loading our env so we're reading from our environment then we're setting these three variables from the environments and then we are loading that configuration file so yeah it's this simple and uh, it helps you keep your uh, project really organized i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please like comment and share the video as this helps the channel grow so i can keep making these videos i upload new videos every week about python and flask so if you want to get notified when i do please subscribe as well as click the notification bell so you can get be notified whenever a new video is released. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.